I only drink Mount Franklin water. I don't like any other water bottles because they have this like weed residue taste. 99.9% .9 of people don't look like that. Welcome back my beautiful queens, it's your girl Jess. And today's video is how to make sure you, you watching, look and feel beautiful without makeup. Funny coming from me because I am a professional makeup artist, but that doesn't matter in this case. It all starts with skin. And as any makeup artist you have ever worked with, worked on, no or anything will always hopefully say it all starts with your skin hmm. makeup can cover up but it can't hide so for example if you have a big pimple or you know you have like really deep eye sockets similar to me you can do little things to i guess avoid make you can do La, la, la. not hide but distract the eye from paying attention to that but it's still there and when you take off the makeup it's still going to be there so we want to make sure when you have makeup on and take it off you still feel beautiful when you don't want to wear makeup you still feel beautiful so how are we going to do that queens let me tell you okay <laughs> for starters i would highly recommend sunscreen 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 dr dre i will leave her link down below she's someone i always watch and i think her name's cassandra She's another amazing, amazing esthetician, I believe. I will leave her down below. I watch them regularly and I also read a lot of skin books and I do my own research because I'm so obsessed with skin and not only my skin, but other people's skin. I wanna make sure that when I have a client in my chair or when I'm seeing someone, I can kind of understand their skin type, not type, but their skin texture and how to work with that as opposed to against it. So it's a lot to factor in, but don't go that depth. Don't, okay? The main thing you need is sunscreen. Once you have that, I promise your life will get better. That and a cleanser. <laughs> Literally, that's it. You don't even necessarily need an eye cream. I have one because I like the one I use. It's quite expensive, but I feel like it really does help with my dark circles and my fine lines. So I'm gonna continue to use that. But I always put sunscreen under my eyes because it does help, especially when the sun, now we're in summer, the sun is gonna hit your discoloration. It's gonna make it darker. So why would I want that? I don't. Should I put sunscreen? And it also really helps with fine lines. Trust me, that is a key. Something as well, I'm just gonna mention for the sake of mentioning it. When you sleep on your sides, there's nothing wrong with it. There are pillows specifically for that. But for example, if you sleep on your left side a lot, you're gonna notice more creases and wrinkles on this side as opposed to your right side. If you sleep on both of them evenly, you're gonna have the same. If you only sleep on your back, you will notice that your face isn't squished. When you sleep on your pillow, your face is squished for about, let's say seven to eight hours, maybe more. And what that's gonna do is if you do that every single night, of course it's gonna create creases and all that kind of stuff. So a way to not like prevent, cause it's inevitable, but to avoid it happening quicker than we want is try to sleep on your back. There are actually a lot of benefits to sleeping on your back. You can sleep on your side. There are specific pillows that are cut out. I bought one recently. I'm really excited to try it because I like I like cuddling. You know, <laughs> I like it. Another huge factor that I know people talk about it, but they don't really talk about, it, but they talk about it, is social media. We see all these beautiful, beautiful women and men out there that have perfect skin. They don't even have one pore. They don't have one wrinkle. They don't have any darkness. Their skin is so like even that you actually think they're wearing makeup first of all some people actually do have skin like that so for them bless them good for you you know beautiful beautiful but let me tell you something 99.9% .9 of people don't look like that they either have really good lighting it's the sun the way the, the sun is hitting them the angle the the camera there is so much to take in accountability including filters hello hello my god that should have been the first thing I start Filters play such a big role. There are filters that make you look so natural, but just a bit more put together, a bit more um, je ne sais quoi, like even skin tone, but that's not the case. Then you take the filter off, you're like, oh, that makes a big difference. Don't worry too much about that. The more you focus on how other people look, the more you're gonna end up kind of being jealous. And not only that, you're gonna start comparing your skin to their skin, and it's just gonna be a spiral because then you're gonna wanna use the products they use. It might not work for your skin, Domino effect. I was trying to do a revolving door, but with a wall. Anyway, last but certainly not least, this is probably the most important one that I will be speaking on. And if you have sticked around for this part of the video, then you definitely want to improve your skin. And I'm so proud of you because that's the biggest step. 
is genuinely accepting your skin for how it is. Now there's a difference between the reality of your skin and wanting something else as opposed to being like, no, this is, this is how my skin is. Let me tell you something. I truly believe that what you believe is true, no matter what it is. It can literally be as simple as, um, I can never drink water. It just has this weird taste. Every single time you drink water, it's gonna have a weird taste. I can't, oh, I have a great one. I, I don't drink Mount Franklin water, or I only drink Mount Franklin water. I don't like any other water bottles because they have this like weird residue taste. But then if you have water in front of you, you don't know which one is which, I'm telling you, they all gonna taste the same. Because in your head, you think that just because it's a brand, it tastes different. Oh my God, it's simple, little things like that. Little things that you tell yourself, that you repeatedly tell yourself is gonna be true. So why not start looking at yourself in the mirror and be like, you know what, I am so comfortable, I'm so comfortable in my skin. My skin is getting better every single day. I'm so proud of it. Picture yourself with clear, amazing skin. Picture no blackheads, picture your, uh, dark circles gone picture it queens picture it i'm telling you visualize that shit religiously in the morning and at night don't overdo it don't overdo it i have to say that twice because you can't overdo it and then uh you know you kind of get possessive and then it ends up being further away from you than it should be so just picture it in the morning and feel how great it would feel when you look in the mirror and be like wow look at me I don't even need makeup. No one ever needs makeup, by the way, just saying that. But I don't need makeup. If I want to put makeup on, it's because I want to. And if I take it off, I still look amazing. So I'm a 10 either way. Things like that. Say things like that. I promise you. I promise you. The more you say that every night, the more you say that every morning, the more you visualize that, the more you write that down. You're going to be so confident with your skin. And all those blemishes and those little things that came that no one really wanted, they're not going to come anymore. Because you're coming from such a good frequency, you're coming from such a good place of, you know what, I'm so proud of my skin, I love my skin. Looking at yourself in the mirror, not being scared to look at yourself in the mirror without makeup on, that is going to boost your self-confidence. I was trying not to yawn. So high up that it's, it's just going to change everything and then you're going to actually start seeing little things about your skin. I, I used to do that, or I do do that. I had an episode where I didn't because of this situation. But I used to do that so often that I would religiously get compliments on my skin, like literally every single day. Oh my God, your skin is so beautiful, Jess. What do you do to it? What do you do to it? Oh my God, you have great skin. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I literally use like one product, two products in the morning. And then I use one, two, three, three to four products at night. And that's it. That's it. Like I don't do much to my skin. I don't want to complicate it. It doesn't need it, right? I eat great. I enjoy my, my skin. I enjoy myself without my makeup. I enjoy myself with makeup. But the key is to feel as though your skin is already how you want it. Act as if that, that's the case. Believe it. Don't worry about anyone else's skin. Have a kind of regime. Regime? I don't even know. There's so many different ways to say it. Routine. I'm going to say routine. Have a routine. Honey. Honey. Where can you go wrong? And then whatever you apply on top of your beautiful flawless skin, I use flawless very loosely because no one's very flawless, but anyway, it's gonna be magical. And I promise you, I promise you, this will happen. If you do all these steps, give it a month consistently and watch your skin transform. And I want you to comment down below after a month, comment now how your skin looks, how you want it to be. And then in a month, come back and I want you to tell me how amazing your skin looks. Only if you try all these steps. Don't half-ass it. Okay? I really hope these videos have helped you, you beautiful queen. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!